To draw the Lewis structure for XeCl3 minus, let's count up the valence electrons. For xenon, that's in group 18, sometimes called AA, we have eight valence electrons. Chlorine has seven, we have three chlorine atoms, so we'll multiply that by three, and then we have to add an extra one for this negative sign up here. That gives us a total of 30 valence electrons for the XeCl3 minus Lewis structure. We'll put xenon at the center of the Lewis structure. It's the least electronegative. And then we'll put the chlorine atoms around the xenon atom. We'll put a pair of valence electrons between the atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. And we'll have used six valence electrons. Remember, we have 30. Then we'll go around and complete the octets on the chlorine atoms. So each chlorine atom now has eight valence electrons. The xenon only has six. We're using 24 valence electrons, so we still have six valence electrons. We could complete the octet on xenon. Now we're using 26 valence electrons, but we've completed the octets on each one of the atoms, and we still have four valence electrons left over. Xenon is an exception to the octet rule. It can have extra valence electrons. So we're going to put another pair here, and then one right here. So now we've used all the valence electrons for XeCl3 minus. The chlorines, they have the octets. Each one of those has an octet. The xenon, that has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 valence electrons, but that's okay because xenon is an exception, or can be an exception, to the octet rule. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for XeCl3 minus, and thanks for watching.